Shalom and good afternoon. Greetings from Jerusalem. Jane, I just walked in the door. I picked up these roses, just a little bouquet for my Shabbat table. So I thought, why not let, just let them be here and you can enjoy something beautiful. So today is a special day or this, um, this weekend is very special. Of course, it's going to be Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. Chag Sameach Habi Chanukah and also Rosh Kodesh, it's going to be a new month, it's Shabbat, and it is Hanukkah. I hope you saw, I actually went live on all my social media yesterday except on YouTube, but I started on my big Facebook page, Israel One Nation, then I tried to go live for the very first time on my new Telegram channel, simply called Jerusalem Jane, then I went on Instagram, Jerusalem Jane. Then I went on my private Jane Q Facebook page. Because I have so many wonderful people following me all around the world on all my social media platforms. So thank you for walking with me around Jaffa Gate, so the famous Jaffa Gate, uh, showing you the beautiful light show saying Chavi Hanukkah with all the candles on the old city wall. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, if I forget the old Jerusalem, the breathtaking, the majestic capital of Israel, thousands of years of Jewish history, the connection to the Jewish people, to this, to this city. This is the city that God is calling his own. This is the city where God is saying, uh, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. There's so many scriptures that speaks about this city. This is God's holy city. And yet all the pathetic numbness in the United Nations once again voted to sever all Jewish ties to Jerusalem, to the holy places in Jerusalem, to the Temple Mount where the first and the second temple stood because the Palestinians in their propaganda disgusting media war is again managed to turn heads and to win people over in the failing United Nations. I mean, the Palestinians can't even agree on what year they fabricated, they were invented. So this is absolutely ludicrous that your nation, your representative in the United Nations either, either voted for this or abstained as cowards instead of saying goodness gracious every time in Christian Europe when we are opening our Bibles uh, we are reading about the Jewish connection to Israel and of course to Jerusalem so all of this fake news lies and propaganda coming from the Palestinians we are coming against it is absolutely horrendous it's a good thing that you and me know the truth, the facts, that we are standing for Israel for such a time as this. We are speaking up for Israel. Where am I standing? I am standing in Jerusalem. I was walking at the old city walls yesterday. The undivided capital of, Jerus of Israel, Jerusalem, which has never been the capital of any other nation or any other people than the Jewish people. Absolutely ridiculous. So tonight it's going to be the Shabbat in the midst of Hanukkah. It's a very festive. So Chag Sameach, Shabbat Shalom, Happy Hanukkah from my house and my beautiful roses to all of you around the world. Next week I'm going to start doing more of those current news updates. Everything is uh, heating up regarding Iran with the pathetic talks in Vienna thinking you can negotiate with Iran, the biggest sponsor of terrorism. So Israel is doing what Israel needs to do. Israel is having and have had massive, massive drills throughout the country alone, but also foreign armies has came here and have drills with Israel, especially in the Air Force. Uh, Benny Gantz, Israel's defense minister, is traveling to America next week. We just had a delegation from the army in Florida meeting with representatives over there. So there is no question that things are coming head to head, moving into 2022, because Israel is not going to allow uh, Iran to have nuclear weapons to attack Israel. Of course, Iran is sponsoring Hezbollah in the north in Lebanon. 
Iran has been moving in, in, into Syria. They are sponsoring Hamas with rockets in Gaza. So Israel has been preparing for a full out war on multiple fronts. It's just a matter of time, my friends. So thank you for joining all my social media around the world. Let me end by saying many of you know my current situation. I need a new home in three weeks in order to stay here in Israel. From the bottom of my heart, thank you to those of you who are praying for it. But even more, thank you to those who are sending financial blessings. I have no salary. I am funded by no one. The entire time here in Israel, I have been working solely as a volunteer, speaking up for Israel, sharing news to you, only solely living by donations that is coming in on GoFundMe pages. And there is a new one. Um, so again, if you, if you cherish my voice, my work speaking the truth out of Israel for such a time as this, I have never needed more for a Hanukkah miracle or for the Christians for a Christmas present. I need to find a new home. I am walking out the door. Suitcases are here in three, three weeks, January 1st. So thank you for whatever you can do. Share out the GoFundMe, share out my posts, share out my videos. I need it for such a time as this. Chag Sameach, Chabi Hanukkah, Shabbat Shalom, love and kisses from Jerusalem Jane and my beautiful roses here from Israel's undivided capital. No matter what the failing United Nations are saying, God bless each and every one of you. Bye.